second tip would just be put yourself out there and really just enjoy everything that comes along with it, the good and the bad. You can journal to keep track of stuff and just soak in every moment. Yeah, true. I remember um, every time we'd FaceTime her dad, he kept would keep telling us to like soak it in and really like appreciate just us being uh, in Italy. Yeah, I mean, you're only this young one to travel in the world. My advice for people that are leaving for study abroad programs is that feelings of loneliness and culture shock, if you're feeling them, it's completely normal. But once you push through and start putting yourself out there and getting used to the area, it becomes such a memorable and super fun experience. I know for me, when I went on the Jazz in Paris Global Seminar and I first got there, I was really lonely and I didn't know exactly how to find my footing. But once I started going to classes and meeting um, all my friends from the program and going on trips, I got used to the area and I had one of the most memorable experiences of my life. I would definitely say um, be open-minded to new, new experiences and all that. Um, also make sure to, you know, like keep in touch with people at home because I think being so far away can be difficult mentally, but I think if you, you know, check in with your friends and family and all that, I think that makes the experience um, a lot easier. One tip that I have if you're studying abroad this year, don't be afraid if you don't know anybody in your program. The whole point of studying abroad with a group if you're going with UC San Diego is to make new friends. So um, for me, like I've made so many friends on my study abroad trip, so make sure you keep an open mind about that. So when you're going to study abroad, I think that um, you can definitely find a place like, wherever you want to go, uh, you definitely find something for your major there. Uh, you just got to look online and like really look into it. Um, I didn't think there would be anything for when I was micro, uh, marine biology because um, I, I thought that was pretty specific. But like after really looking at it, I, I found that it was there are programs for that.